Hello, it's Scott Manley here, back from Scotland after a long trip. It is 3 a.m. and I am jet lagged, so I figured let's get on and actually play some of the games that have been sent to me of late. Games I've been looking over, such as Rebel Galaxy. Now, Rebel Galaxy, well, I feel sorry for these guys because they actually sent me. Uh, they sent me a code for this back in April on the same day that I had to go to Scotland. Six days ago, you so, received a cryptic message here we from go. Aunt Juno. A cryptic the message from Aunt Juno. Chief, who you haven't seen or heard from in over ten years. Hmm, wonder what she's the been up to. provided the access codes to the Rasputin, a near derelict spacecraft and a mm -hmm. relic of her younger Bit days. But probably hard to kill. Also included were the coordinates to Rust City. In Austria? A space station with a questionable reputation. Mm, she no. practically begged you to meet her there as quickly as possible. Now, after several days of travel and a few unscheduled maintenance stops, you have at last arrived. This is a place of liars and thieves. You wonder how you let yourself get dragged to such a godforsaken backwater. Tis a wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious. Yeah, apparently there is a rust city in Austria, I think. Okay, so game controls are gamepad, and I'm getting hailed, so I'm going to use the gamepad controls. I have something for you. Who are you? Um. <laughs> Ah, well, I see. Well, I guess we'll see you after I dock. Anjojo Vasta. Great, I'm learning alien tentacle language. First, you're going to get to do all these things. So let's fly towards... Let's actually fly towards the station. So, yeah, it's uh, A to speed up, X to speed down, and hold A to dock. Da -da. Buy a turret! The t Rasputin has two turret mounts, but only one turret. What a terrible oversight! Oh, let's go to the bar first and look for Arzu, who clearly employs humans. So, where is my aunt? She was supposed to meet me here. Yeah, well, why do you say that? What is it? Maybe it'll tell me how to find her. Can I see it? What do you mean? Uh, any suggestions? Uh, what kind of something? Uh, it's a deal, I guess. Bronson Coal. Bronson Coal. Whiskey. It's obviously Irish whiskey or American whiskey because it's spelt with an E in it. Uh, now, what else was there? Leave the bar. I don't need one to hire a mercenary. So, they said buy some extra stuff from my beta turret. Scattergun. I guess the only thing I can afford is a Mark I scattergun. With a range of 1900 meters and speed of that. Shield, all sorts of numbers. Great, let's go for it. And there's all sorts of other things I guess I can fit on this. Hull plating, deflector shields, everything's probably too expensive. Uh, nope, don't want to get rid of my primary shields. Or maybe I do. Maybe experts are saying you should sell your primary shield so you can make more money trading. I have heard that happen in games before. Okay, let's just get out of here. Mission board, commodities market. Oh, can you do some trading here? Be a badass trader with this badass music in the background. 
in the badass universe, in the badass rebel universe. Rebel universe, let's go. Depart the station. Missioners, marked as gold diamonds. Great, I can figure that out. So let's get up to speed. Okay, what have we got? There's a weapons platform there. Star, and yep, this lets me look around. I am accelerating to sublight. There is my target. So I'm going to boost away from the station. Of course you have a boost bar, as you would expect in these games. And now I can engage my warp drive. So we have a little map in the bottom left corner of the screen, I guess. Let's see what happens. Primary mission, the exchange. Risk, low. So this is obviously going for the Babylon 5 style of universe with nebulas out the wazoo. Which is always nice, because it gives artists something to do other than white spots in space. Uh, of course, in real life you would never be able to see a nebula like that, because a nebula with that amount of brightness and luminosity would probably uh, collapse gravitationally very quickly. Use my pulse function, function to detect distant objects. Great. Hey. Whoa, Branson Cole is really right there. Hey there. Cars you send you? You got my payment. Yeah, he did. Here's the cash, because I don't want to fight you. And besides, I don't want to ruin his business relationship. So they were saying to use some sort of pulse thing. Ah, pulse. Uh, safe traveling. I see some bad guys over there. Probably don't want to do that. They're going to be after my whiskey. So we're going to head back the way we came. Well, this is, of course, your standard delivery mission you get early on in most spaceship games, teaching you how the universe works. The rules of the universe, as they say. This is a rebel galaxy, of course, with you know, rebellious soundtrack and everything. I'm like the space trucker from the um, Star Citizen commercial. Ooh, a distress beacon. I think I'll not go to that right now until I know what a distress beacon actually is. Yeah, I mean, so obviously I'm literally off the plane, this is my first chance to have played this and I make stupid mistakes like dropping out of warp too early. Uh, completely cold, largely because I only have a limited amount of time, I will have to go to work in a few hours and you know, make awesome things happen. And time to dock with the Rust City. Oh, and I get 14,820. Is that good? I don't know. Hey, Orzu, what's... what's... Whatever. Uh, I think I'm going to take the tractor beam. Okay, try not to scratch the paintwork. Well, tell me about it, I suppose. You need them to be disposed of. Oh, great, it's a mission to go out and blow up some boxes. Great, let's actually go leave the bar and see if I can buy some new equipment with this money. Better weapons. Uh, secondary weapon. Oh, look, we get flak turrets. Let's put some flak turrets on this thing. Why not? Um, Mark 1 flak cannons. Nope. What do I do? Oh, no. Back. This is what I need. So we get flak cannons and for the broad side. Pulse cannon, yes. Can I upgrade this to something more awesome? No. Oh, Mark 1 tachyon cannons. Excellent for a close broadside combat. Oh, we're going to be like pirates with broadsides and everything. Proton cannons are designed for extreme range and feature ex enhanced shield damage. Okay. Um, how much damage does this do? 20? This does 19. What, what, wait a second. Why would I do the pulse cannon versus the tachyon cannon? I guess it's faster. And penetrate shields better? And charges faster, so I guess DPS is actually higher. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, I think I'll I'll do these. I'm gonna buy that, install this component. Would I like to sell this? Yes, I will. So that's me spent some of this money, 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 money. Now, shield. Can I upgrade my shields? Yes, I could upgrade my shields. Yes, install. I'll sell that. So now I have better shields, and better guns, and more awesome. Oh, wait a second, there was a deflector. What does a deflector actually do? 
Durham Aerospace. They can temporarily absorb excess damage. Well, never mind. We're gonna head out into deep space and blow up some defenseless crates. Oh, no, I'm gonna accidentally dock again because I'm a moron. Depart the station once more. So I guess hold the button to dock. There's a distress signal there. Let's go to the cleanup operation and then check the distress signal. Now, yeah, the pulse thing. I can pulse that. Oh, nothing here. Let's uh, just get over there. Oh, there's a bunch of spaceships and stuff floating around. That's kind of cool. But that sublight booster was enough to get me beyond the mass limiting range of the station. So I can enter warp. There we go. I look forward to taking out my aggression on a pile of crates here and there. Yeah, as I said, I had a chance to play this back in April and then, well, as I said, I had to fly to Scotland back then to see my dad and obviously this time uh, they, they sent me in again on the day that I was supposed to leave. So these guys have had uh, unfortunate timing, which is a shame. It's nothing. I would have played this game a long time ago. Discovered the Hades X Nebula. Let's let's pulse it. There's these, and then slow down. Oh, combat in Revel Galaxy is naval style. Great. Okay, let's let's get in there. I'm gonna try and squeeze between these rocks here. I'm not gonna hit anything. Don't worry. Let's slow down. So it says turn the camera. Oh. And then charge broadside? Oh yeah, charge broadside. Yeah. Yes! Broadsides away. Ah, ah, brilliant. These containers cannot contain the power of my broadside powers. I feel like Admiral Manley. Admiral Manley powers of the Royal Navy. Yes, there really was a guy called Manly Powers. Is that not awesome? Like. <laughs> Uh, wow. Is there anyone with a more awesome name than Manly Powers? Your turrets are an important part of combat, capable of firing targets your broadsides can't reach. Great, that would have been nice to tell me that when I still had... Scatter turret. Oh, a scatter turret. Okay. Oh, wait. These frigates here. I'm kind of worried about that. Those guys are out of range. Oh! Uh, get me out of here! Okay. Whoa! Okay, flat cannons! Yes, turrets! Oh, collision warning! That means I must be going the wrong way. Whoa! What is that? Not good. Okay, let's turn around and take this thing on. Out of range once again. So we're broads ah, so I have broadsides and turrets, that's what it is. Hopefully my shields are regenerating. No idea where my shields actually are, but I'm going in to take this thing on, because why not? Come on, double jack. Oh yeah, let's let's accelerate. Oh. And actually what I need to do is switch to broadsides. Collision warning. Collision warning, not good. Oh, out of range, out of range. Okay, this is really hard to fly. I'm gonna get after this dude. Another time, 
Another time, Cutter. Oh yeah, there's my shields there in the window there. Oh, what the heck did I do there? I have no idea what I just did, but I apparently changed something. Mission complete! Oh, excellent! Let's grab this. Uh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. And I'm gonna grab the soy paste from the sky, yes. That was actually quite fun. I think I could probably get used to some of this if I practiced a little more. Engines at maximum, Engines at maximum capacity. Now I need to finish the this mission here. Boost myself out of the asteroid belt. Actually, while I'm here, maybe pulse and just see if there's any more stuff. Oh! Is there somebody still shooting at me? I thought I would... I thought I saw somebody shoot at me there. Come on. Let's bring the bacon home, so to speak. Arzu will be so proud that I managed to do this. He'll tell me about how Auntie would be so proud of me. My aunt. Yes. What's happened to the music? What happened to the cool, like, Rebel Galaxy music? Okay, just drinking a cup of tea because that's, of course, what all Rebels drink at 3 a.m. in the morning when they're jet-lagged. Here we go, back to Rust City. Docking. Docking. Rust City of Novara. Population 156,124. Make that 125. I've just moved in. Hey, Arzu. Oh. Okay, the favor's done. Now it's time for you to hold up your end of the bargain, Arzu. Partner? Antibo. I know she was a hell of a trader and made a lot of money out here on the frontier. <laughs> well, thank you. I'll check this out. Okay, uh, so we got a bit more. I guess we don't have much more money here. I'm just going to leave the bar. And. Let's depart the station. So the map, the map I get to. Okay, so we're, we're over here, and it's like four thousand distance units, whatever that is. Obviously, we're working with a compressed space here. No sector map. Yabu, is that where we're going? Yabu system, red giant has a barren. Oh, cool. Can we go in here? No, we can't. Closest mission. Let's try that. Oh, track down Sander. Is there any other way? Map. Oh, look, here's the whole galaxy here. The whole rebel galaxy. Um, so we have, can set things as missions. Oh, the Giti. And then there's the Avinas prison. There's all these cool things to go to. I think I'm going to avoid these guys, though. And then there's some sort of militaristic station. These might be missions, I don't know. I'll have to find out as I play this more, to be honest. But let's just head off into warp drive. Ooh, come on, come on. Yes, excellent. I can see how this would be very easily ported to a console. The game is currently on Steam right now. I'm not sure if it's... I guess it, it's fully launched. When I saw it, it was an... It first saw it, it was an early version. Or rather, when I was first given the key, it was an early version. It, it seems pretty good so far. Uh, it's obviously two-dimensional space rather than three-dimensional. Space is kind of compressed so that you can run around and fly between stations and planets. But you have warp drive or Presumably, you can't engage anyone. Uh oh! Warp inhibited by hostiles! Let's. Oh! Okay! Okay! Aha! These fighters are easier to deal with because they're. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> Double Jack Berserker. Ha 
<laughs> oh. So I can't adjust the view while I'm shooting at these things, otherwise I change my target. I I'm actually loving the music, as, as uh, cheesy and stereotypical as it is for biker music. <laughs> I think that's the... Uh, they're trying to go for like a biker gang, you know, like cowboy or whatever, living on the edge. Oh, although, to be fair, I live in Oakland, and Oakland has a huge history of like biker gang culture. But a lot of them guys that I see riding around have awesome, you know, giant purple bikes with huge sound systems and they'll play like awesome soul music and stuff like that. It's really bizarre. The guys in cars, they play drive, play hip hop. Guys on bikes, they're playing like soul like Miguel. Not sure what quite what's going on there, but uh, I, I like having the, <laughs> the bike culture around. Look at this. This is pretty cool. I like, I like, look at this. The warp drive adjusting everything, you know, adjusting tearing, tearing the fabric of space-time and blurring things, blurring the light rays simply by distorting gravity. Okay, here we are. Time to visit the bar again, because that's where real business gets done. I'm gonna meet Sandar. No, but apparently you know my Aunt Juno. Depends on what. You want me to bribe you? Oh, so it's not a bribe, but dirtier. That's not really an improvement. It doesn't sound like I have much of a choice. Great. Some dirty business. Let's head out. I'm actually wondering if there's how many different aliens there are, because I do actually get, they're actually pretty well animated and stuff. They're kind of cool like that. Okay. Uh, it, I mean, it's it's nice to have a game where every character isn't a generic human. In fact, it's kind of cool to to have a an alien as your first point of contact. I remember I think the X Games did that as well. And I should point out, it's definitely an equal opportunity game since clearly your aunt is a somewhat important character. I don't think I haven't. Well, I'm wondering whether Orzu or Sandar are actually female, or maybe they come from a species which has more than one, more than two genders, three genders. I don't know how many genders do you think you need to make a cool alien race? Yeah, I'll, I guess those nebula are all kind of floating around the sky. Oh, there we just skipped by some bad guys there. They didn't notice us. Let's try and get get this so we can see the whole thing fly. Look at the distortion of space that those engines are generating. Truly this spacecraft, although it is a rust bucket, it is a rust bucket that is able to harness the powers of space-time to fling itself across the universe at... Well, actually, at this speed it's not going much faster than a race car, to be honest, because we're dealing with compressed space. Um, yeah, although I don't know what SM are. Maybe they're small miles? Small meters? I don't think it's miles. I might be miles at, yeah, I, I don't know. Space meters, obviously. Okay, come on, get around this. Oh, incoming hail! What has he got to say for himself? I figured someone like you might show up. Who sent you? Sandar? Morgan? Uh, oh yeah, this guy. Sandar, if you want to know. Toad can't be paying you much. Look, this is gonna go bad for you. Pay me 800 credits and I'll make myself scarce. And you can tell Sandar whatever you want. Nah, I don't like you much anyway. It's my funeral. I know a bit about funerals. Oh dear. No, is that too soon? Okay. Okay, double jack fighter. Come on. Excellent. One more. Take down the fighters and then I'll go for the mothership. Because these guys haven't, you know, they're probably like glass cannons. That's my theory. Oh, wait, there's one more there. Switch. I thought I was going to need to go to broadsides. Once I'm dealt with you guys, I can go after the big target. Or maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe the AI is supposed to be doing that manually. Let's get myself lined up. Gold! Give me the power of gold. Oh, 
Okay, that went the wrong way. Chase after him, gotta get within range. Dead John. Oh, wow, the lightning is hitting me and zapping my shield or something. Okay. Broadside! All weapons, open fire! Oh, wow, hull plating damage, I'm taking damage. Uh, I, I'm, apparently I'm not in particularly good shape myself. But soon... Yes, come on! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Haha, <laughs> dead John. Now you are named appropriately. Okay, so, the game is Rebel Galaxy. It is on Steam. It is worth checking out, I think. I certainly enjoyed the short amount of time I played with it. Nice and easy, and it seems like it's got a bunch of fun stuff going on. I might come back to this and play a little more. Who knows? I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.